Mark and Nikki welcome you back to another episode with Narky on Tour. I really hope you enjoy this one. If you do, please hit that like button. Please subscribe. You know it means the world to us. Oh, watch till the end to find out what happens next time. So we made it to our next destination, Malaysia. We just arrived. Um, we're at Five Senses Jewel in Kuala Lumpur or Kuala Lumpur Central. So a quick tour of the, the apartment. We'll say room, but it's actually an apartment. We have kettle, sink, a little kitchen really, microwave, glasses and bits and bobs there. We have our own little bar so we can have a party. Couple of bar stools, a television, nice seating area with a nice lamp above us. Uh, the best bit, a nice little dressing table. The best bit is the view. Look at that. That is the view from our little lounge area. Um, that's the biggest skyscraper in Kuala Lumpur. And if you see behind the Takaful Malaysia building, you'll see the Petronas Towers, also known as the Twin Towers. So we're right in the heart of the city. That is the train station which we arrived today from the airport in uh, KL. Okay, then we come into the bedroom. Nice big double bed. Television, we can watch telly in bed. All our crap, ignore that. Again, the same view, but this time from the bedroom. I mean, this is, this is brilliant. Now, imagine at night time, everything lit up. We'll show you that later on when it's dark. And the bathroom. Toilet, we have a bath. Sink area. And a shower. The bathroom is huge, absolutely huge. Our own little closet, got our clothes, iron, not gonna do any ironing, don't worry about that. Ironing board, yeah, it's all here. That's air conditioning in the living room, air conditioning in the bedroom. So, uh, very, very happy. Welcome to Kuala Lumpur on a hot, muggy, sticky morning. Uh, went out for a walk this morning, we're not far from the hotel. We can see this view from the hotel and look what we stumbled across. Absolutely amazing. So just a short train journey away, we found the Twin Towers of Kuala Lumpur. Like Mark said, we see it from our uh, our room, and it looks quite small. And we can only got we've only got a side view, but we're kind of here now, and we're walking backwards because it's just so immense just to try and get it in the viewfinder. Pretty amazing, huh, Mark? Amazing. You can just picture Sean Connery and Catherine Zeta Jones running across the, what would you call that? Uh, the walkway? Yeah. Yeah, the length of towers from the film Entrapment. It is very impressive and it's very shiny. How do they clean it? I don't know how they clean it. A serious it. question, how do they keep that shiny? Please leave a comment below <laughs> telling us how they keep it clean. There's not that many people here. It's a really pretty area with waterfalls and so we're in the puppet um, city centre now, the financial district. But this is, it is something else. Pretty super duper. So this is the Twin Towers or the Petronas Towers of Kuala Lumpur. Very impressive, isn't it? 
Very big, very high, very tall. And very shiny. Very shiny. Also, again, I'm a Formula One fan. It's uh, the Patronus, which is... The sponsors. Sponsors of Mercedes AMG Formula One team with Lewis Hamilton. So, I've seen the Patronus Towers. It deserves an Oscar for that one. <laughs> it's pretty impressive, it really is. Pretty impressive indeed. Very impressive. <laughs> very impressive, uh, Very see? impressive. <laughs> Mark concurs. Very impressive. The second highest building in Malaysia, is that correct? I don't know, I don't know, possibly. Nice garden area too, with topiary and little fountains and... Very nice. Right, we're just heading inside the Petronas Towers now. One to fill a bit of aircon. <laughs> First and foremost is definitely the aircon. It's so much today. To say you've actually been inside the twin towers, the Petronas towers. Oh, and look what I see in front of me. Oh wow! Now he's excited. Oh no, I've got to wait the camera because he's uh, going to go and no. wet himself. I think. Oh, the only thing is missing is Lewis. <laughs> That is incredible, isn't it? Yeah, just saying, the pig in poo. This is Mark now. <gasps> and it's number 44. <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> It worth a sweat. I tell you what, that's made my day that has. That's made your day, absolute. I'm happy for you. It's not very big. Hmm? It's not very big and it looks like it needs dusting. Oh right, yeah. I'm sure you've dusted it for free. Oh yeah, that is that is obviously not the real car, but it's a replica, same size. <laughs> He's good at like a Cheshire cat now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've just had my moment with uh, Lewis's car. <laughs> He's just gutted that Lewis wasn't there as well. <laughs> no, but of all the cars to be, it had to be number 44, Lewis Hampton. Anyway, enough of that. That's, that's my little moment. So, we're inside the Petronas Towers. And now we've stumbled across a shopping mall. We've just come in because it's cool in here. We've come in to steal some air conditioning and steal some uh, Wi-Fi, to be honest. But it's, uh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's designer shops, Ralph Lauren, Louis Vuitton, Estee Lauder, Prada. Fendi. Christian Dior, <laughs> Boss. And if you look here, it goes. Lanterns ready for Chinese New yeah, Year. The Chinese New Year is a big thing everywhere that we've been to so far, Singapore and, and here in Kuala Lumpur. It, it makes it really pretty with the cherry blossom and the lanterns. Um, yeah, it's nice. I think we came at the right time. Uh, I think Chinese New Year is, was it, we were told the 12th, 10th to the 12th, I think, of February, February. so it's going to be really busy then. Um, but we're going to be one of the smaller islands in Thailand then, so it probably won't see an awful lot of it. But we'll have a little wander around here, suck up the aircon, 
Suck up the Wi-Fi. Suck up the Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, and build up an appetite, hopefully to find a Ramley burger. Oh, isn't he beautiful? Don't know what Chaji is, some kind of tea maybe, but it's a very beautiful display. It's looking very at home in the pink. <laughs> So we're at Batcher Coffee House at the bottom of the Patronus Towers. It's very swish. Mark's just had his coffee poured, but he's only got half a cup, so he's going to have some more from. And what they do here, they do. Oh, it. don't you do it. God. Yeah, the. Okay. The boy does make me nervous. What am I ordering? I can't remember. Uh, Caramello or something. So you've got his little cream to go in his coffee. <laughs> God, we're so fish out of water. <laughs> and I went for an ice ice coffee uh, with some sugar syrup in there. And I can't remember what I ordered. The first one I wanted, the tones of cherry, black cherries and things, they didn't have. So I've got this one instead. But I'm sure it's going to be delish. Wow, it looks, it looks <laughs> just, right. Sorry for the filming, I just keep putting my finger in the way. It looks alright. Let's try it then. I don't want to try it, but you try it. Hang on, Oh God. Mike's got such huge fingers, he's probably going to drop it. We have tea darling, or coffee it's darling. Little finger. So this is the other side of the Twin Towers. It's, more, it's the year of the dragon, I believe, hence why there's a dragon. This is really pretty out here with the fountains and... You can believe that you're like in a massive city and it's so quiet. I really thought it'd be so much busier than it is. It was busy, it was really busy last night. We went to the um, food market and that was so busy. And the taxi driver said that the last quarter of last year was, was very, very busy. But there's the towers from the other angle. You get a better view from the other side, from the front entrance yeah. of the Twin Towers, don't you? Yeah, but this is nice. For wander, rather for wander around the dragon. Quite a large structure, actually. There he is, the dragon's head. Very pretty. It's a lovely green space. Time for a little sit down. The chill for five minutes before we start again. Here he comes, the dragon himself. Amazing. <laughs> He's just still happy from seeing the F1 car. It seems quite surreal, doesn't it? Do you think it like, seems like a dream? Or we've we, been planning this for such a long time. We see pictures, you know, photos and videos online and stuff like this. But to see it in real life, it's just immense, isn't it? Yeah. It's it, immense. It, no, it just doesn't, it doesn't seem real. I don't know. Yeah. It's because we've done so much research and yeah. done just watched a megalillion videos just, and, and everything. Even bear though in mind it's a business building. I can't get my head around there's a shopping mall in there as well. Yeah, but I think that's just, they seem to put shopping malls everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Don't they? Yeah. I mean, Singapore, that was... There, every other building was a shopping mall. I'm not sure that there's enough business for so many shopping malls, but... Yeah. Well, we will try and go up to an observation tower. What? Yeah, we're going to go... I can't see it from here, otherwise I'd show you. But, we're, yeah, we're going to go up the observation tower rather than go up the, um, the walkway up there because it would be nice to see 
the, the Twin Towers from higher up, but not from there, because you can't see them if you're up Yeah, there. but it does look at the towers. Yeah, like I think say, so. From high up. I think so. I mean, yeah, that's another tick in the box. So Sweetie Nikki is signing off. She's going to have a drink of water and have a chill for five minutes. So this is the KL Observation Tower. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <It's> amazing. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. The Twin Towers are there. A little bit hazy today, isn't it? It is a little bit hazy. I'm trying to work out where we're staying. I think it's that direction over there. Okay. I don't know for sure, but I think it is. You can see the tower and you can see the twin towers from our apartment. But I think it's that way. I didn't realise it's so... with the mountains. Yeah, we, it's been misty ever since we've been here. I didn't realise it was like in a bowl. Oh, that's the glass floor. Yeah. The sky we're, box. We're going to go in there later. Can you tell how enthusiastic I am about that? We have a number they call out. Yep. When it's your turn. So we've seen the towers, the twin towers from the ground, and now we're seeing it. Oh yeah, how many actually, up? it's a shame because you can only see them side on, which you can see that from our room, can't you? You can't see them like straight on with the with the walkway. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. It's quite funny because there's all these like tall skyscrapers, and then there are little pockets of just normal size buildings, houses, accommodation, I nice guess. park over the waterfall. Yeah, lovely park. Okay. So we're going up a little one to the other side now and see what we can see. So there are two sky boxes. And I don't know what our number is. In my pocket. I see now I'm confused because you can see that building from our um, from our apartment too. So now I'm completely confused. But that doesn't take a lot. Two nine six zero skybox two. Probably a good idea for me to check my number, these skybox things. Okay, there's two skyboxes. Yeah, we've got tickets for two. Okay. So we're skybox one and skybox two. <laughs> so we can um, go in together? Yeah, so we may have to do two of the wonderful experiences. Apparently it's an hour wait anyway. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure that there will be, you know. Now that's the tallest scraper in Asia. The yeah, highest. Yeah. And I think with that, <laughs> everywhere I look is I think this is where we are. Only because I can see there's a green, like hexagonal, yeah. th and I, can, I think we can see that, you know. And that is the train station that we could have seen no, I don't this think morning. It, I don't know, I don't well, think. Our hotel's got a swimming pool on the top. I assumed it may revolve. Oh, I'm, but yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, I, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's going to though. <laughs> no. Oh, that looks a nice hotel there with a pool up on the top. Can you hear the That's, prayer? Yeah, being called to prayer. That's definitely not our hotel there. <laughs> See the pool on. Yeah, I see. 
looks inviting right now. It does. It does. It's, it's more than 30 degrees. It's quite muggy in it. We've done a lot of walking today again. No, I says to not lean against the glass, or maybe not put that on against the glass. It's um, it's pretty spectacular, isn't it? It's one of the ticks in the boxes today, isn't it? Another another tick in the box. Yeah. So we're waiting now for to enter this guide box, which is the cantilevered overhanging glass floor boxes way way up in the sky um so you have 30 seconds once you're in there we've waited an hour an hour about yeah. an hour for it um in 35 degree heat yes it's so hot we, oh, we are 2193 so we're going to be called very shortly um like i said you get 30 seconds when you're in there so it's going to be a case of well case of what crap in your pants <laughs> I'm not looking down. I don't like these things at all, so I am not looking down. It's best if I don't look down, otherwise I won't go on there. You're only here once. We got this. We'll see. Oh, God. I don't... Oh, I really don't like this. I'm going to sit here. You're going to have to, because the camera's too low. It's all right. Oh. Oh. This is uh, not a happy look at all. She's done it. Oh, I'm going to try not to look down, take photos. That's Mark being brave on his own. I'm not brave yeah, at all. Yeah, snarking and tall cheeks again. <laughs> so we did the first one. We're now off to Skybox 2, which shows the... You've got the Patronus Towers, the Twin Towers in the background of that one. I might just let Mark do that one. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to want to go through that again. But it's hot. Very, very hot. Oh, so that was a bit of a close-up. Part one is done, and now here's part two. Two, nine, nine, six, sky. Uh, no, it's okay, thank you. Oh, God. Oh, shit, hang on, hang on. Don't okay. look down. Don't look down, no, I know. Whoa, look. No. Don't look down. No, I don't. Right, Dan. Go on. <laughs> oh, shit, that's me. <laughs> Gonna get the towers in. Yeah. yeah. Crazy man. Crazy man. Hang on then. Oh. This is as much as I go. Oh! <laughs> oh! Gold. All right. Hang on then. Oh! Uh. <laughs> 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 I really don't like it this. Mm. <laughs> oh. God. Strip with us but not the other lady. It's quite funny because the beautiful lady doesn't get a timer, but the big fat sweaty Brits they get the timer of 45 seconds. <laughs> You're in, photograph, get out. And we were told, come on, time's up. <laughs> That's quite funny. That's quite funny. So I've just had something to eat and we're gonna have a little wander down here so that I can turn around and show you the tower from the outside. Mike does enjoy a glass floor for some very strange reason. Me, not so much. 
So there he is. <laughs> and there is the tower. Oh gosh. You could just make, oh, I can make out the glass ceiling that you kind of overhang up there. People walk out, I'm not sure you'll pick it up on there. I can see the glass ceiling. Yeah. It's pretty tall. <laughs> That's an understatement of the year. You've done it. We've done it. I'm proud of you as well. Yeah. Very proud. But there's, there's like an astroturf now and it's so hot that I am going and getting off it. But Iggy is the tower. Ta da! Right, do we now have full picture? We'll have a look. Can we see from the back, oh. don't we? <clears throat> Put it down again. Right. Oh, that is the full picture. It is, but we can't get in it. <laughs> well, go we walk, walk, walk it, back. Walk back, and I'll see. I'm looking at the front picture. Oh well. All right. Stop. Hang on. Back. Come. Stop. No. Back a little bit. Back a step. Okay. I can see myself well, in stop. the under the walkway. It's very sweaty. It's very hot. Very muggy, humid today. Yes. But yeah. That is it. We've done it. On the last night, we found it. Ah, beef. That was the cheese. Yes. That one is Can we have one beef and one chicken? Started, haven't you? You haven't got to the middle yet, have you? I'm not disappointed. Enjoyed our latest episode of Narky on Tour. Um, if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Um, send us a comment, it means the world to us. And uh, see you next time on our adventure with Narky on Tour. <laughs>